but you are now tuned into the network the youtube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumbs it down to a more simple language and today's topic is how to obtain a show tech output from putty and secure crt you know how uh, you're opening up say uh, like a tech case with the engineers and they want obviously they want to, to gather some basic information from, from your router or your switch or your networking device and usually they ask for the show tech output well normally when you try to copy it it's like a whole bunch of information that you don't have time to copy and paste because it's, it's just a lot and plus it just come at you so fast well the way to get that without having to copy and paste it is in secure CRT, obviously you want to open up the session and right now we're logged into router two, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to file and then you're going to go to log session, log session. Just, that's pretty much like your, your record button, right? So you click log session and then it's going to ask you where you want to save this output to. So let's go ahead and save it to the, uh, let's save it to the documents folder. That's the, I guess that's the default location. Let's just call it uh, putty. I mean, uh, secure CRT session underscore session for now and we're gonna call it it's gonna save it as a dot log file which I believe you can open up with a uh, notepad as well right and then now if we just do a show tech right or tech support right normally it's gonna open up all this stuff and you you know it just goes at you so fast and it's just so much information you just ain't got time to copy and paste it right so right now it's pretty much recording it right and I'll show y'all what we could do with this after that I may cut this part out. One eternity later. Oh, okay. So once that's done, uh, what you're gonna do is you go to file and then click, notice how log session is checked right here, right? So we're gonna uncheck it. That's kind of like stopping the record button. So now we've done recording. So now we go to navigate to where that file is, which was located in the documents folder. And then we go to secure CRT session notice it's just a file so we may have to change this to a txt file yep so or we could just open it up with notepad like this and there is the file right there and notice it's recorded everything everything that i needed right there so now that's where the file is so let's go ahead and do that in putty also y'all that's still using putty just to let you know you know they got rid of vhs and beta matter of fact they they using like dvds and stuff like right now and they got rid of that now you can actually stream your movies but anyways all right so notice i'm also console into the same router in putty right click on the on the taskbar on the t on the taskbar at the top right and you're gonna go to change settings and then you're gonna go to logging and notice under we've got two sessions here sections here we've got session logging and we've also got the log file name so obviously we want to record all of our session. We do all session output like this. And then this is the log file name, right? Let's just go ahead and name it something else. We're going to call it putty session. And we're going to save it as a .txt file because we know we open up our notepads with TXT, uh, txt files. And then we're going to save it somewhere else. Let's go ahead and save it on the, let's go ahead and save it on the desktop, right? And we're going to call it putty session one .txt, right? we're going to apply and we're going to do the same thing right we're going to do show instead of show tech let's just do something real quick so that way i ain't take, wasting our time here let's just show ip interface brief right and that's our show ip interface brief output right and then let's go ahead and just check that output we're going to go to where it's located which is on the desktop go to putty session one and notice it's recorded log right here now, if you want to stop the session, obviously, you want to go to back to the taskbar and you go to to change settings, back to the logging, and then just do none, apply, and now it's going to stop recording it. So now we do something else, right? We just say, I don't know, let's do a show version, right? Pull up our show version output, then try to open up that putty session, which is right here. On the desktop, there's the putty session right there. Open it up and notice it stopped recording. It's only got our show IP interface brief. If you like what you see here, you know, go ahead and hit me with that like button. Please leave a comment below. I, leave, I do all kinds of tutorials and stuff like that, mostly for certifications and stuff like that. So go ahead and check me out. And go now, please comment, like, subscribe to the network.